Hello friends and welcome to virtual story time at the Chippewa River District Library. Will you join me as we sing the hello song? Ready? Here we go. Hello friends. Hello friends. Hello friends. It's time to say hello. Welcome. Today we are going to be talking all about oceans and I brought a special book with me to talk about. It's right over here. This is one of my favorite books that has oceans in it. It's about a fish and it's called This Is Not My Hat by John Clausen. Let's take a look inside, shall we? This Is Not My Hat by John Clausen. This hat is not mine. I just stole it. Ooh, friends, is it okay to steal things? I don't know about this little fish. I stole it from a big fish. He was asleep when I did it. And he probably won't wake up for a long time. Yikes, look at that. I think he woke up, friends. And even if he does wake up, he probably won't notice that it's gone. What do you think? Did he notice? Hmm. And even if he does notice that it's gone, he probably won't know it's me that took it. Hmm. Friends, I think he knows. What do you think will happen at the end of this book? Will the big fish come find the little fish and get his hat back? Hmm. To find out, you can check this book out from our library. I'll put a link in the description below to check this and other ocean books out from our library. So we've learned about fish, which is one kind of animal that lives in the ocean. Now I'd like to talk about another animal that lives in the ocean, the seahorse. I have 10 seahorses behind me. Will you help me count them? All right, here are my 10 seahorses, and they are very colorful, aren't they? Let's say this rhyme together, and you tell me what color each of my seahorses is. Let's count 10 seahorses swimming by, all different colors, my oh my. The first is red, the next is light blue, here is orange, and purple too. I see that green one, but we're not done. I see a white one. Ooh, this is fun. Now yellow, then blue, brown is next, pink is last. 10 seahorses swimming fast. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's time to write. Grab a piece of paper or a pencil, or if you don't have one handy, you can follow along with your finger and trace in the air. And really, we're just doing some practice here. So anything you're writing on the piece of paper is awesome pre-writing practice. Let's get started. Today's word, sea, is another word for an ocean. And it's great because it's only one, two, three letters. So it's really easy to practice writing with and to practice spelling with. Here we go. We're going to start with the capital letter here at the top. This is an S. I always think S's are kind of hard to do. They've got two big squiggle loops. There's the capital S. The next letter is E. Here we go with our E. S, E, and A. S, E, A. Sea. Friends, it's time to sing our ocean song. Will you join me? For this song, I'm going to use a scarf. 
You can follow along without one or you can grab a scarf from somewhere inside your house. You can use a ribbon or tissue paper or even a scrap of fabric, which is what I'm going to use today. Here we go. This is the ocean song. You can follow along with me for the motions. And just remember when we get to the chorus, we're going to go up and down. You can wave your scarves up and down or you can literally sit down and stand up. Oh, the ocean is great and the ocean is grand. There are lots of tall ships on very little land. We sleep down deep in a hammock by the shore. And this is what we do when we go out the door. Ride the waves going up. Ride the waves going down. Ride the waves going up. Ride the waves going down. Ride the waves going up. Ride the waves going down. And then we turn around. Good job, friends. Thank you for singing with me. All right, it's time for yes or no trivia. Here's how it works. I'm going to ask you a question, and if you think the answer to the question is yes, show me a thumbs up sign. But if you think the answer to the question is no, show me a thumbs down sign. Okay, first question. Can you drink ocean water? Hmm, what do you think? Do you think, yes, you can drink ocean water? Or do you think, no, you can't drink ocean water? Hmm. The answer is, no, you can't drink ocean water. Do you know why? It is salty. You would get actually dehydrated from drinking ocean water. It would make you really thirsty. All right, second question. Does the ocean get higher and then lower throughout the day? Hmm, what do you think? Do you think, yes, it gets higher and lower throughout the day? Or, no, it stays the same? Hmm, what do you think? The answer is, yes, the ocean does get higher and lower throughout the day. There is something called tides that happen to the ocean, and sometimes the ocean is really high up, almost to the tippy top of all the docks, and then sometimes it gets really low, and you can even see the sand on the bottom. All right, last question. We live in the state of Michigan, right? Here's what it looks like, and we live right here in the middle at the Chippewa River District Library. Hmm. Is that near an ocean? What do you think? Do you think, yes, we live near an ocean? Or do you think, no, we don't live near an ocean? Hmm. The answer is no. We don't live very close to an ocean, do we? Mm -mm. You have to drive a long time, sometimes multiple days, to get to go to the ocean beach. But we're very lucky in the state of Michigan, if this is my map of Michigan, because we live around a lot of really cool lakes. And the good news is they're freshwater. They're not even salty. Thank you so much, friends, for joining us today. We've come to the end of our program, and it's time to sing the goodbye song. Are you ready? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. See you next time.